What's going on guys? Kevin here, back again with a fucking video that I've been waiting to make for a long, long time. Very, very excited, super excited to complete the pack. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the HAL Studios 11, Gel 1130 uh, in the Arctic colorway. Uh, if you guys don't know, I did a review slash comparison of the Forest and then in the original brown colorway. Now, I finally have the Arctic. Finally, after months and months and months and months. Uh, so story about this and why this is so delayed is that I actually got this from HAL Studios when they did their um, early drop for returning customers. Uh, so like what they did is that they allowed customers who previously bought either of the uh, previous ASICs shoes, um, preferential treatment, and then they had first dibs on the stock. Um, and I was a part of them because I bought both the Forest and then the original brown colorway from uh, their website. And they shipped it off really quick, but the issue was is that once it was dropped off to the Australian Post, it pretty much just disappeared. Um, the Australian Post have no idea what happened. Uh, Hal has no idea what happened. Um, and then it was a lot of back and forth between Hal and, um, and uh, the Australian Post. The Australian Post just said that they didn't receive it, but on the tracking it says that they did, but it never moved from Australia. So it was that whole whole thing. Seems like other people are having the same issues with the Australian Post and with this release in specific. Um, I know at least five or six people that reached out to me and asking me if I've received the Health Studios pair yet, and it's been maybe four months, five months uh, since the drop. So. If you guys were looking forward to the video, my apologies uh, for the delay, but I was able to pick this up secondhand actually for quite cheap. Um, I picked this up on eBay for $120, which I think was a fantastic deal given that I was willing to spend $170 shipped from HAL, and it was only lightly worn, so I'm glad to have it in hand. And let me pull out the other two colorways. Actually, before I talk about that, here's the box. It is in that glacier white. So it's a very, very almost flat white with uh, A6 kind of uh, shiny print there. Came with a spare pair, or I guess the spare pair is the red rope laces there, but they also came up laced up in a flat uh, white Arctic color lace. Um, and there's no other extras. I know that it came with a keychain. Uh, but when I picked up my pair, the seller didn't include the keychain. Oh well, it's all good. Also, I guess if we're gonna compare, here's the forest and then the Arctic, and then here's the, I guess, the Earth. Uh, here all three of them are. I'm not sure how good of a comparison that is. Here, these are. So, here are the first two. The first two. Let me hold up the right shoe of each. Here they are. Absolute sick, sick pack. Big fan of what House Studios has done and really just their entire brand just in general. They have very, very clean branding, high quality, very simple, flat design, and I'm just a huge fan of it. I was particularly, particularly a big fan of the Arctic colorway versus the other two. I would honestly rank the Arctic color as number one. Uh, the Earth color, ooh, professional. The Earth color at number two and then the forest at number three. Not necessarily saying that the forest is a bad color, but man, Beautiful. Uh, the reason why I would say that the forest is at the bottom is just because, I don't know. The green is nice, but it's mostly predominantly green. Maybe I'm just a sucker for white or light colored um, base pairs, but super, super sick. So let's talk about the Arctic and then we'll go into the comparisons later. So talking about the gel 1130 the Arctic colorway. This color is a like, it's not so 
off-white yellowish. It's more of like a cool off-white, if you get what I'm saying. Um, very interesting. The promo images were beautiful because they were in, I believe they were in Greenland or Iceland where um, there's a lot of hikers there and that's where this rope place was inspired by those climbing ropes. And I just love the detail of the dipped uh, lace tips. I think that's a really, really nice touch. Um, and just talking about overall, it's a big open wide net mesh uh, with some nice leather panels all throughout the shoe. The A6 logo being of this very, very thick and fuzzy and nappy suede. Very, very nice. Doesn't really change too much color, but there's a lot of fur, a lot of nap to it. Um, it's a very, very light shoe. I would say the only parts that make it sort of heavy are these uh, stabilizing plastic pieces on the sole. Flipping over to the inside, again, pretty nice black leather, pretty nice white leather. On one of the shoes, it says HAL with this back sort of tab. The other shoe says Studios. Uh, the insole is an ortholite insole. That says HAL Studios. Slipping that back in. It's a flat, I wouldn't say textile, it almost feels like a faux leather insole, but it's very flat with a light Hal Studios and A6 branding right there. Love this shoe, absolutely love it. Love the leather lace holder right there in the middle, as well as all this. God, such a, such a fantastic pair of shoes. Little A6 logo right there. Yeah, and this quickly is honestly number one for me in terms of like, their A6 1130s. Now let's do a comparison between, or I guess among, all three pairs. So let's start with the OG, OG pair. Um, so something you do have to note is that I believe this OG pair got an eight and a half. Yes, and then this pair I got in an eight. So the forest pair does look quite bigger. Um, to be honest, eight or eight and a half works for me, but one of the details that I think was a good change was, again, like I mentioned, they dipped the, uh, the lace tips in acrylic paint, and I thought that was a really, really nice touch. They started doing that from the forest uh, color onward. I'm not gonna lie, the these, um, these sort of panels, them being changed to leather, I actually really like that. The original was an all suede throughout and definitely the first release, the suede on this black one wasn't as nowhere near as nice as the suede that's present here. But that A6 logo, the suede on there is quite nice. I think that's what makes the difference as well. Um, I think you can also kind of see, I don't know whether or not they changed the, um, change the mold on the 1130 because I think this is also an eight and a half and for some reason this toe area definitely comes up a little bit more on the forest or not on the forest on the earth versus the forest and even lower on the uh, arctic but they all fit pretty much the same in my opinion another cool thing is that this is blue and this is like just an icy white Yeah, just a huge fan of both shoes. Again, I know a lot of people really like the Earth colorway, um, but I, I really think that this is the the clear cut winner, having them all on hand. Because the Earth pair, I think it just lacks a little bit of that. Like this is a very pleasing shoe. It's like all cream and you know earth tones and it has that whole vibe but this really just is that like bang where it's like wearable but also bam like red laces or bam the black leather paneling super super awesome and then we can also do a quick comparison with the forest pair the forest pair is also extremely nice i guess honestly looking at it now i think the reason why maybe i don't like the forest pair as much versus these is this um brown leather panel just because it's it's not as uh not as nice as the white or the black on the 
Arctic pair as well as this sort of brown makes it look slightly cheap. And I know that the inspiration between the brown panels are the, um, the gates in Japan in the Japanese forest where it's like the gates for the gods. Um, but I just think the idea of it, maybe it could have been like a lighter brown, but that's my only critique really. They, they are both really, really nice shoes and I'm sure they are just on everybody's like grail list. Such a nice shoe. I, if I remember correctly, the Forest colorway is going for the least. I remember that the Forest colorway on like resale sites, they're only going for like less than 200, but correct me if I'm wrong, post you know, like post, uh, like editing Kevin. But yeah, wonderful, wonderful pairs of shoes. I would recommend going true to size. So I'm an eight to an eight and a half. I got eight and a half in both the other pairs and they worked fine. And an eight in this also works fine. Um, with the eight and a half, there's a little bit of room, but sometimes I prefer that in the eight. It's a little bit more on that um, snug fit. But to be honest, again, I don't really mind. Very, very comfortable ride. The 1130, even if you don't pick up the Hal Studios pair, I think the 1130 in general is a very killer budget model because um, I think it sits right behind the GT60 in terms of pricing and the 1130 is that clean retro runner. You can honestly wear it just as well as like a Vomero or like any sort of like old school New Balance runner. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Hal Studios uh, Gel 1130 glacier arctic color um do you guys like this colorway versus the other two let me know of your opinions down below and let's get like a dialogue going i'm pretty good at responding um again for me arctic number one the earth tone pair on number two and then the forest pair on number three this is just my opinion not saying i don't like the forest pair the forest pair is definitely an amazing pair of shoes but the Glacier is A1. Um, another thing, I, I feel like it's always like another thing. I keep forgetting to mention this. Um, the Forest came with two laces. The OG came with three laces. So just in case you are in the market for any of them, uh, keep that in mind. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.